Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. With field day just around the corner, I've been trying to search out for some logging software so that I could use my Pi this year to do the logging at field day. I think I finally found something that's going to work, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Stick around, and we'll show you how to get that installed and running. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is come over to this website here, and I'll leave a link to this down below, but it's fdlog.info. All right, so once you're on the downloads page, let's come down to this one, the 154charlie-dev. Let's come all the way over to the right where the arrow is, and let's right-click and copy that link location. Now let's head over to our Pi. On the Pi, let's open up our terminal window. Let's move to the downloads directory. And let's use the wget command and paste in the link that we just copied. Now you'll notice it puts a, a little bit of extra junk down here at the end. So I'm just going to take off everything after the dot zip and then go ahead and press return. So if we run the ls command, you'll see that we have the new file there. Let's go ahead and unzip that with unzip fd log. I'll go ahead and just press the tab key to autocomplete and return to go ahead and start that process. Now that that's done, let's list out our directory again. And you'll see that we have a new directory. So let's go ahead and move over into that directory. Okay, and running the list command again, we come up with a list of files inside the new directory. And this is the one that we're looking for right here. So we'll type python fdlog.py and go ahead and press return. At this point here, we can minimize our terminal window and just let that run in the background. And you'll see this new little screen here. So this is asking for our node ID, and you can name this uh, whatever you want to make it uh, easy for you and recognizable, uh, especially if you're going to be networking other computers in. You definitely want to go ahead and uh, maybe enter your call sign right there. Now, for the authorization key, this is critical if you're going to network multiple computers together. They'll all need to have the same authorization key typed into this box, but you can enter whatever you want here. So I'm just going to call it FD19 and go ahead and click run FD log. And after just a couple of seconds, we'll be presented with this new window. Let's go ahead and maximize that on the screen. Now you're going to type all of your commands down here in the bottom window where it says ready. So the first thing I'm going to do is set the club call sign that we use at field day. So we'll run dot set space FD call space AB4ZB is our club call. And we'll go ahead and press return. And you'll see up here in this log window that we have set the club call now for AB4ZB. All right, so the next thing we need to do is set our class. So we'll use dot set space class, and we'll just make this for alpha for right now. And again, you can see that we have set the class right here. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is set the section. So dot set S-E-C-T. And then I'm going to use Tennessee. So in my case, I'll enter TN-Tennessee and go ahead and hit return. And the last command that you might want to know if you're going to network several of these together is the remote IP uh, command. So that would be dot REM IP. And then you would give it the IP address of the master computer. Uh, or, or, or the Pi that's working as the server. Uh, since I've only got one hooked up for the time being, I'm not going to be able to demo this command for you. But you just have to decide on one of them to be the uh, central server, 
and then connect all the others to it using this command and the server's IP address. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is come up to here where it says select the operator. We're going to click on that and then click add new participants. And I'm going to give it my initials, my name, and my call sign. And click save. And then we can just close that window. And now we should be able to select me as the operator. Now, over here, we also need to set uh, the logger. So, you can see that it's already populated this information here. So, I'll go ahead and click that to set the logger. Now, we just need to choose the band and mode that we're going to use. So, we're going to assume that I'm working 40 meter digital. And instead of 100 watts, I'm going to set mine at uh, 25 watts. And natural because I'm running on batteries. And that's it. You're ready to start logging. All right, so coming back down to the bottom window, let's start with our first contact. We'll use W4RPW. Let me get the mouse out of the way there. W4RPW is the call sign. We'll press the space bar and enter one echo, space bar again, and Tennessee. And then go ahead and press the return key. And we'll get a QSL confirmation here. And you'll also see it up here. Okay, so let's work another station. Let's say uh, KG4IKT. And we'll make him one echo Tennessee as well. And go ahead and press the return key. Now let me show you how to check for duplicates. Instead of entering a full call sign this time, I'm going to enter RPW, since I know that we've already listed him in the log. But we'll list RPW and press the space bar you'll see that it shows us right here we worked W4RPW on band 40D or 40 digital. So we know that that station has already been worked. Now let's try that again. Let's enter WFC this time and press the space bar. And you can see that it says none on band 40. So let's enter the prefix of his call, which is W4, and press the space bar. And then we can tell it his class and section. Hit the return key, and it will log that contact. Now, one last thing that you might want to know, if you have uh, several computers networked together, you can actually send messages to all of the other computers. In order to do that, you're just going to start with the pound sign here and type the message. Once you press return, that'll be sent to every other user that's connected to the server. So one last thing before you head off. Be sure to check up here. There are ways to export your logs out and get those ready to submit to the ARRL. All right, guys, I hope this helps you out with a logger for this coming field day. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head out. And if you haven't done so already, Click the subscribe button and ring the bell at the bottom so you get notified of future videos like this. Until next time, 7-3.